Good morning, class. Welcome to Mathematics Year 2. Okay, we'll still be looking at money. We have learned addition of money. Now is subtraction of money. Let's take a look at the content standards. 4.3.1 Subtract two values of money within 100 ringgit. And 4.3.2. Subtract two values of money consecutively from any value within 100 ringgit. Let's take a look at this. We have a 50 ringgit note a 20 ringgit note and a 10 ringgit note. How much money is there in total? 80 ringgit, right? This one, only 20 ringgit. We need to find what is the difference. What is the difference is we get the larger one, the larger value of money minus the smaller value of money. The larger value of money is 80 ringgit. Okay, you see, the smaller value of money has one 20 ringgit note. What if we take away the 20 ringgit note from each side, like this, we are left with 60 ringgit, right? So we can use 80 ringgit minus 20 ringgit is 60 ringgit. The difference, beza, 60 ringgit. Okay. Now we have one 20 ringgit note, two 10 ringgit notes, and four 1 ringgit notes. How much money is there in total? 44 ringgit. Okay, if we get 44 ringgit, we minus off 10 ringgit, 11 ringgit, 12 ringgit, 13 ringgit. So if we minus off 13 ringgit from 44 ringgit, 4 minus 3 is 1. 4 minus 1, 3. So we have 31 ringgit left. There's 1 20 ringgit note, 1 10 ringgit note, and 1 1 ringgit note. The total there is 31 ringgit. Let's take a look at this situation. What are these? These are bags. The black bag costs 92 ringgit and the green bag costs 69 ringgit. What is the difference in price between the black and the green backpack? Remember, we have learned keyword difference, beza. So it involves subtraction. The difference, we get the value, which is larger, minus the smaller value. So we get 92 ringgit minus 69 ringgit. Can 2 minus 9? No, we have to borrow from the neighbor. When we borrow 1, 9 becomes 8. Then we put 1 to the side, so it becomes 12. 12 minus 9. Remember, if you are not good in subtraction, you put the smaller value, the value below, put in your mouth and close all your fingers and count until the larger number. So 9 in your mouth. As you count, you open your fingers. 10. 11, 12. So, how many fingers do you have open? 
3. At minus 6, 2. The price difference is 23 ringgit. Next, we have two dresses. One in blue costs 68 ringgit and 99 cents. Whereas the purple dress costs 99 ringgit and 50 cents. What is the difference? in price between the blue and the purple dress. Which value is higher or larger? The purple dress, right? So we get 99 ringgit and 50 cent minus 68 ringgit and 99 cent. We look at the numbers on the right. Can 0 minus 9? No, we borrow from the neighbor. Borrow 1 becomes 4, then we have 10. 10 minus 9 is 1. Can 4 minus 9? No, we have to borrow again from the neighbor. When we borrow 1, tolak 1 minus 1, so 8. 14 minus 9, we put 9 in our mouth, close all the fingers and count up to 14. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. How many fingers are open? 5. Okay, 8 minus 8, 0. 9 minus 6, 3. So the price difference is 30 ringgit and 51 cent. Don't forget the dot, okay? Okay, next one. Okay, 2 kilo of, what is this? Oranges is 35 ringgit and 40 cent. If I pay with a note of 50 ringgit, how much money do I get back? We get 50 ringgit minus 35 ringgit and 40 cent. 0 minus 0. 0. 0 can minus 4? No. The neighbor has also 0. So the neighbor has to go to another neighbor and borrow first. Okay, when we borrow, becomes like this, right? Now you can borrow from the neighbor. 10 minus 1 is 9. So we get 10. 10 minus 4? 6. 9 minus 5? 4. 4 minus 1. Sorry, 4 minus 3. 1. It's not 4 minus 1, yeah? Okay, so how much money do I get back? Is 14 ringgit and 60 cent. Oh, now we are going to buy a dictionary and a pen. The dictionary is 42 ringgit and 80 cent. The pen is 29 ringgit and 90 cent. Mr. Tan paid 100 ringgit. Dia bayar 100 ringgit. What is his balance? Balance ialah baki ya. Remember we learned the keyword balance is also related to subtraction. So we get 100 ringgit minus 42 ringgit 80 cent. Then we minus 29 ringgit and 90 cent. Okay, 0 minus 0? Zero? 0. Okay, we need to borrow up to the place value of 100. Okay, so when we borrow 1, the place value of 100 becomes 0. Okay, we have 10 here. Then when we borrow 1, becomes 9. The neighbor becomes 10. And when we borrow again, 10, okay, from the 10, we borrow 1, becomes 9, then becomes 10 again, right? Okay, so 10 minus 8 is 2. 9 minus 2, 7. 9 minus 4, 
five. So we get 57 ringgit and 20 cent. Okay, don't, don't forget. Okay, don't forget the pen. So we need to get this 57 ringgit and 20 cent minus 29 ringgit and 90 cent. Zero minus zero is zero. Two can minus nine. No, we need to borrow. Borrow from seven becomes six. Now we have 12. 12 minus nine. Nine, 10, 11, 12. So it's three. Six cannot minus nine. We have to borrow again. Becomes 16. 16 minus nine. Remember nine, you put in your mouth. Close all your fingers. And you count. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 7, oh, 16, okay? Okay, we stop at 16, so we have 7 fingers. Okay, 4 minus 2 is 2. So what is his balance? His balance is 27 ringgit and 30 cents. Another example, 80 ringgit and 50 cent minus 12 ringgit and 30 cent minus again 53 ringgit and 80 cent. So we get 80 ringgit 50 cent minus 12 ringgit and 30 cent first. 0 minus 0 is 0. 5 minus 3, 2. Okay. Then 0 cannot minus 2, so we need to borrow. Borrow from 8 becomes 7, then we get 10, right? 10 minus 2, you open 10 fingers, close 2 fingers, you get 8. Okay, 7 minus 1 is 6. So, once we have minus 12 ringgit and 30 cent, we get 68 ringgit and 20 cent. We still have to minus 53 ringgit and 80 cent. 0 minus 0 is 0. 2 cannot minus 8, so we need to borrow from 8. Become 7. Okay, we get 12. 12 minus 8, 4. 7 minus 3, okay, 4. 6 minus 5, 1. So we get 14 ringgit and 40 cent. Okay, the subtraction of money is actually up to 100 only. But what if I give you 300 ringgit and you buy two things. One costs you 35 ringgit and 70 cent, and another costs you 201 ringgit and 50 cent. So we minus off one by one. Zero minus zero is zero. Okay, we can't borrow, right? Zero can minus seven, so we can't borrow from the neighbor. We have to borrow from the front neighbor. So the neighbor in front has three. We take off. 1 becomes 2. Then the next neighbor has 10. Now 10 we borrow. 1 becomes 9. Okay, the next neighbor has 10. We take away 1. Okay, 10. 10 minus 7. Open up 10 fingers because you have 10 fingers and you minus off 7. So you have 3. Okay, 9 minus 5. Open nine fingers, close five fingers, four. Nine minus three, six. Okay, two, we still get 264 ringgit and 30 cent. We minus of 201, ring, 201 ringgit and 50 cent. So zero minus zero is zero. 3 cannot minus 5, right? Because 5 is larger. So we need to borrow from the neighbor. 4 when we borrow 1 becomes 3. So 13 minus 5, we put 5 in our mouth 
and close all our fingers and count up to 13. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So we have 8 fingers open. 3 minus 1, 2. 6 minus 0, 6. Okay, 2 minus 2 is 0. We don't put 0 there. So what is the balance? What is left is 62 ringgit and 80 cent. Okay, if you are not good at numbers above 100, don't worry. All the examples in the activity books are less than 100. I'm giving you an example more than 100 for you to think further. Okay? Okay, subtraction of money is easy, right? It's like the subtraction we have learned earlier of the year. Okay, earlier on of the year. So this one is just with the ringgit, the RM. So the exercise for today is to complete page 107 and 108 in your mathematics year two activity book. Thank you class and see you again on the next session. Goodbye.